Hello and welcome to my vlog. I am Brian Foster and I am bringing you messages about spiritism. Today we're going to talk about don't get upset with the world around you. Many of us, myself included, watch the news and get upset at one political party or the other, or what nations are doing to other nations, or the injustices that exist in the world today. My advice to all of you, and to myself, is to not let yourself become too emotionally involved. Why do I say this? Because our current state of affairs in the world is where we are at in our collective quest to become a better world. Let me digress for a moment. The Earth started out as a primitive planet where the rule was eat or be eaten. Over the eons, we have progressed to a planet of atonement where humans are beginning to listen to their conscience, that set of divine laws in their mind, implanted by God, so we can comprehend right from wrong. In the current state of the planet, we, as a collective humanity, are in a world of chaos so we can atone pay for our past wrongful deeds. Hence, a disorderly world is just the ticket to get back what we have given in the past. The earth can seem like a middle school without supervision, middle school being for children between the age of 13 and 14 generally. In reality, the spirit world lets us beat upon each other so we may travel through this enhanced Disney ride and learn from it. Pretty brilliant, is it not? Therefore, all of our institutions are far from perfect, and most are corrupt in some manner. That is because they are led by imperfect humans who still grasp for power and money. Not all, but enough to ruin any good government organization or other form of cooperative over time. The selfish, greedy, and power-hungry will always find a way to rise to the top, at least in this era that we live in. This churn, this mass of pride, selfishness, vanity, and greed is all there to teach us the futility of it all. This is a grand object lesson. Look at it as performance art. Say to yourself, wow, how horrible, how wrong can they be? And learn to never do what you are seeing in action and learn to not punish those on your own because karma and the spirit world will do that for you. Like any performance art, it is all temporary. The races, the cultures, societies on earth are all temporary. Each will be replaced and has been replaced. The Lemurians, the Atlanteans, the Romans have all been banished to the dustbin of history. Before your very eyes, the European civilization, where they once colonized most of the world, is at its last gasp. As the spirit of Manuel said, their power is gone forever. Only what remains is humanity, and as a collective, we live in different bodies that are of different races, different cultures, different wealth, so we may learn. That is all. Nothing but successfully going through our predestined lessons is important. Hence, enjoy life. Enjoy the spectacle around you. Shake your head in disappointment, but don't preoccupy yourself with it. It is all temporary. Only the spirit world is eternal. You are part of the spirit realm. You are immortal, yet a relative immature immortal, but one day you shall be in your prime and become an important member of spirit society and assist high spirits like Christ to husband an entire planet to become a better place. If you're interested in the spirit world, what is happening? How is it? What is our place in it? What are we like in spirits? Please read my series of three books. And it starts with the first book, Heaven and Below. It talks about heaven, talks about the lower zone below heaven, and it talks about the dark abyss even below the surface of the earth. And I write about what Jesus is, what he is to us in the spirit realm. And then my subsequent books go more into what? spirits are and also how the spirit world is leading not only our individual destinies but the destiny of the entire planet god bless